again. Last video of the night. And this is going to be my review on a movie that I should have watched growing up. I'm a newbie. This is going to be my review on The Lost Boys. Yeah, you heard that right. This is the 1986 cult classic directed by Joel Schumacher. And this movie was very, very fun. <laughs> so it's about like this family that moves to Santa Carla, California, and they meet up with like their grandfather, but things start getting very mysterious when night comes around. Vampires. <laughs> you have Kiefer Sutherland, as David, Alex Winter, as Marco, and two other people that I missed their names, but uh, they were definitely the standouts for this movie. So the older brother of this family, Michael, played by Jason Patrick, he becomes lured by a female that hangs out with these guys and and they initiate him to become one of them so they take him to their lair and they start uh, giving him food which it was Chinese <laughs> Rice was replaced with maggots, and noodles were replaced with worms. So, apparently he saw that, and he thought that these guys were sketchy. Well, it got even more sketchy when David offered him blood to drink. And he gave in, and he became one of them. So, Michael doesn't want anything to do with that lifestyle, and he goes back to his younger brother, Sam, played by Corey Haim. So, you definitely get some very familiar 80s names in here. I mean, this cast is stacked, and I'll get into that very soon. But anyway... The younger brother gets very suspicious of his older brother coming in in the middle of the night and sleeping all day. He figures out that he is turning into a vampire. So he enlists the help of two teenagers known as the Frog Brothers. And Corey Feldman is the leader, I guess. And he knows everything there is to know about killing vampires. So, they team up together and try... Or, they team up together and try to take out this vampire threat. Well, things escalate very quickly when we figure out that Michael is turning very very slowly and there's not much time left so Michael and David go head to head and Michael comes out on top killing David David is not the head vampire though because Michael doesn't turn back right away Nope. Huh. The head vampire, and I was actually kind of surprised by this, was the mom's new boss at the video store. I was like, what? 
<laughs> but, uh, this is a very fun vampire movie, and I'm very surprised that I haven't watched it as often. And I'm very glad that I did watch it because this is definitely going to land somewhere in my top 10 vampire movies. I really had a blast with this. And the theme song is very iconic. Cry Little Sister. That kind of like goes in my head sometimes. But uh, for a first time watch, this was a very solid movie. Now I definitely have to like rewatch it over and over again to like get more appreciation from it. But watching it tonight definitely made me happy to say that I really dug the Lost Boys. So, full of 80s nostalgia and not too gory, but still a very fun movie. My final grade for The Lost Boys, I'm going to give this an A. Maybe upon another watch or two, I might upgrade it. But those are my thoughts on The Lost Boys. And tomorrow, I'm going to give you one more vampire movie review that'll turn out to be like a dual review. I'm going to watch the original Fright Night and the remake of Fright Night and compare the two. So that's going to be my video for tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And on Halloween, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 vampire movies. And uh, near the weekend, I'm hoping I'll give you my movie wrap-up, and my book wrap-up. And then I get to get started on Novella November, which I already filmed that video earlier today, so you'll see that probably tomorrow. But that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Peace.